Hey, yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and I hope you're hungry because we're back with Ravenous Devils. This time we now have two tables, all the mannequins that we can get for the tailoring shop, two ovens, three workbenches. We have all the meats that we can possibly make. The only thing that we are missing as far as upgrades are the last two tables, another display for more food, and uh, another oven. And we also need the tomatoes so that we can start growing stuff in the greenhouse. But I don't want to overwhelm myself just yet. So all of my upgrades are going to be everything but the tomatoes because I believe that that's what's going to unlock the greenhouse. So I don't know what these are, but until then, I'm no, Hildred, where are you going? <laughs> Until then, we're making do with what we got. Let's open the shop. I'm confident. Are you confident? You better be. Ever since ever since we found out the best way to, to maximize our time, ever since we got the max amount of decorations we could possibly get, we haven't had any mixed reviews or any bad reviews. We may have had a few mixed reviews, but all good things for the most part. We have a family coming to sit at the table. All right, all right. They're going to order sausage. Oh, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? They're ordering sausage. So now we got to take the sausage, pop the sausage in the oven, wait for the sausage to cook. No. They're not even going to go in the green. I mean, they're, they're not even going to go in the yellow. That's how fast the service here is. Boom. Best review. Greatest review. They had nothing bad to say. All reviews. S tier. Uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. You want more sausage? I can do that. I am laser focused right now. You have no idea. The one thing I will say about having more tables is that the day goes by so much faster. But uh, I think I got this. I I'm very confident that I know exactly how to how to manage my time. What are you guys ordering? You're gonna order something with steak. Ooh, never mind. Oh, the the meat pies. I literally just made the meat pies. Just Elliot, go grab one off of the, <laughs> go grab one out of the display. Shit, put that down. They might go into the yellow. This family might go into the yellow just because I didn't maximize my time all that well. They went into the yellow, but it's okay. It's nothing to stress about. We may have one mixed review, but that's okay. Maybe if they were just a tad bit more patient. Elliot, come on, move faster with your little legs. But don't move so fast that you drop the plates. Okay, two mixed reviews. That's not bad. Who gives a shit, you know? You get two mixed reviews out of a hundred good ones. Nobody's really crying about it, right? I like this color. I am. I cry about it. And that concludes our day. What am I gonna buy now? What should I, what should I upgrade? Cutscene first. Hildred, Hildred! I brought you some beautiful flowers. Flowers? For moi? Oh, why thank you, Peter. Such a sweet gesture. No one has ever given me flowers before, not even my fuck-ass husband, Percival. I always used to collect flowers for my mom. Before she... Don't you think about it. Would you like to eat something? No, I just wanted to give you the flowers. Because you've really been... Because you've been really kind to me. I shouldn't tell you this. But now I must go to the harbor to help an old man to fish. Maybe he will pay me if I do a good job. This is good news, Peter. I'm happy for you. But... Why shouldn't you have told me that? He asked me not to tell anyone. I don't know why. But I trust you, Hildred. I know you can keep this secret. I must go now, or I'll be late. Bye-bye. Thank you again, Peter. Now go and be careful. Guys, I don't want to say anything, but this, this, um... Uh, that, that whole situation that he might be getting himself into, it rhymes with X... X... Trafficking. 
find out where Elswin is gone. I do apologize for not contacting you sooner. A dear cousin of mine died recently. It was a great tragedy for I was madly in love with her. What in the sweet home Alabama? <laughs> what? Okay, no, maybe she, she may not have been talking about romantic love. She may have just been talking about like, like platonic family, like, oh my God, I love this cousin so much. I could have spent so much time with them. They, they helped me through my darkest times and there's nobody I would have rather, you know, spent my days with than this, this family member that I am strictly platonically. <laughs> Let me just continue reading and hope that that's what it is. I wept for days after learning about her <clears throat> tuberculosis. I remember fondly the days spent with her in my youth. Her exhilarating fragrance that drove me crazy. This is starting to become sexual. Her translucent summer clothes that left very little to the imagination. Fuck! It's not platonic. God damn it. Maybe it's a... That wouldn't make it any better. Maybe they're not blood related. Maybe they're just cousins through family friendship. I don't know. Lately, her sickness has grown worse. The cough was tormenting her. I cannot even begin to imagine what it felt like to know you are dying. If only I had more time to spend with her, I probably would have asked her to- no! God! Why can't anybody in this town be normal? She received a big funeral ceremony. Many people came to express their love for her. I spent some time in the burial chamber, standing at the foot of her coffin. I have to be honest with you, when no one was around, I cut out a lock of her golden hair. I'm holding it close to me now as I write this letter, and somehow I feel closer to her. I am in awfully in an awfully foul mood. <sighs> is it time to write to drown? Is it is the time ripe to drown my sorrows in food? Maybe not. Two victims are still not enough. Inconsolably J. Okay, so the achievement said find out where Elswin has gone. And so Jay is our, yeah, Jay is our, our, our sender. So Jay was related to the girl who came in asking for the dress, I believe. Oh, okay. I'm going to sweep that under the rug for right now. We're going to sweep that under the rug and we, we're going to move on. I'm going to, I'm going to buy another display. Yeah. Am I crazy enough to buy another table? No, I'm going to buy another oven. That's what I'm going to do. Now we have all the upgrades for the kitchen. We have all the upgrades for the tailoring lab. We need the two tables before we can move on to the greenhouse. So I think we're going to be, I think we're going to have a green thumb by the end of the episode, guys. So I think the best way to prep for people sitting at the tables is I've commonly noticed that people will order something either with the minced meat or the sausage. And it's no Siri. And it's very rare that they'll order just the like the steak or anything with the steak. So I'm going to have the minced meat or the sausage prepared. So that way, if they do order anything else, it will either contain flour or another one of these three ingredients. And then I have the cat ready with the rat. So I think I'm prepared. Percival's got all his mannequin stocked and he's got the cloth ready to replace another mannequin. And he's posted up with the scissors. I think we're ready. I'd say we're going to have another successful day. What do you say? Also, if you made it this far into the video, I don't know how far this will be. How do you feel about V-necks? Let me know down in the comments. Question of the day. How do you feel about V-necks? They are going to order something with a sausage or a minced meat. I fucking told you. Look at that. I feel absolutely goaded for that one. Yikes! More minced meat? Elliot, please tell me you're going to prioritize the people who ordered first. Elliot, move faster! Faster! No! No! Elliot, no! God! I knew that was gonna happen. I fucking knew that that was gonna happen. Of course something like that would happen. He should have been prioritizing the people who were waiting first. Elliot, you... Ah! All right, this time you guys are gonna order something with sausage. I'm calling it. Oh! Look at that. Rarely do they ever order anything with the steaks. People know that the steak is highly expensive and they don't even bother. All right, that was a decent day. I'd say that that was a pretty good day. I need, I need to find some way to maximize how much meat I'm getting because I'm kind of starting to run low each day. 
get more people coming in for food and it's kind of hard to you know but also am i supposed to be serving people the gin or is elliot gonna do that because when how how does the gin come into play you know come on lady we don't have all day so we're gonna close at some point i don't care if you're the last person in here because we will make use of you <laughs> One mixed review is not bad. Look at that. One mixed review out of a sea of good reviews. Our reputation has gone up to a total of like 510. I wonder what happens if our reputation goes all the way. But no time to dilly dally on the past. We have more tables to purchase. Hell yeah. Is she just going to be here? Is she glitched now? Uh, I think she's glitched. Damn. Uh, okay, I guess. I guess that's okay. Maybe she'll maybe she'll dissipate when uh <laughs> when the next guest comes in. She will just forever be the customer who is never going away. We're like, man, we have to we have to close shop. You you really have to get out of here. She's just still munching away. Still eating. I'm starting to feel like Hildred is like the main character of this game because she has more cutscenes than Percival does. Like in the beginning, Percival had a lot of his own cutscenes and like, you know, I was voicing Percival a lot, but okay, she's just going to stay there. Oh, fuck, fuck, shit, fuck. They're all ordering something with minced meat. So Hold on. Good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, I'm getting stressed. I'm getting stressed. Um, um, shit, shit, shit. All the alarms are going off right now. All the alarms are going off in my head. And they're like, they're blaring right now. <laughs> they're blaring. I was not paying attention. Having three tables is not as exciting as it sounds. As long as we don't have any bad reviews. I think we're going to be fine as long as there's no bad reviews. We can have all the mixed ones you want, but no bad reviews. Those aren't allowed. If I don't put it in the correct order, does that still not count? Or does that... What happens if I cook the meal with the incorrect order that it's displayed? Because I did steak, minced meat, sausage. Having all the ingredients together theoretically would make the same meal, right? Okay, good. The game's not that stupid. Man, this is getting dicey. Just getting stressful out here. I'm not getting as many bodies. Ugh, last clients. I'm making bank, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm making bank. That scene? Let's go! Let's go! Good morning, Hildred! Hi, Peter! You're not gone! What are you holding? It's an old storybook! I'm taking it to the market to sell it for some money. I can't read anyway. A young man like you can't read? Come here, give that. I'll read you something. Then you can sell it if you still want to. <laughs> Excuse me, I have I have to clear my throat like that from time to time before I start reading. Once upon a time, two brothers lived happily with their parents. However, they didn't have much money. So the father decided to abandon the brothers in the woods. That's terrible. The brothers were frightened and starving until eventually they came across a little house in the middle of the forest. To their astonishment, they found that the entire house is made of marzipan. So they started to eat the house ravenously. <laughs> yes! I got to say it. <laughs> I got to say it in that way other than doing the title of the game. A marzipan house? Sounds delicious. All of a sudden, a witch came out of the house. She was really mad. She said, How dare you two little chumps, little kids chump through my house. In an instant, she captured and imprisoned the two children and decided that she was going to eat them. Please stop, Lady Hildred. The story is scaring me. Oh, don't be such a bitch. I don't think I can keep on reading anyway. <laughs> Some water seems to have dropped on the last page and I can't make the words out. Oh, what a shame. My plan works. Practice reading. Uh, that practice. Practice reading and learn how to write. 
and you'll be able to write your own ending to the story. What do you think? Yes, all right. Thanks, Hildred. I always have fun with you. I'm going to the market anyway to see if they could offer me a good price for this book. Otherwise, I'll keep it. Bye-bye. Bye, darling. Okay. More mail. We love mail. We love mail from Jay. Dear friend, here is some information on the third target. This time it is a lady, so I suggest you be extra delicate. Her name is Yvonne LaRoche, a wealthy woman married to one of the richest men in the city. I saw her for the first time when Mr. LaRoche invited me to go fishing on the lake. When we returned from our trip, Yvonne, or is it Yvonne? Yvonne? I'm going to call her Yvonne. Yvonne was waiting for us uh, with her friends beneath a huge flower-adorned gazebo. They were sipping tea. I was immediately struck by her skin. White as the moon. Such an elegant and graceful woman. With a certain pride, her husband told me that his wife ran a beauty shop selling lotion, scents, and skin creams. Take what I am, take what I am about to tell you as advice. Never buy a thing from her. To save skimp on raw materials, Lady LaRoche uses scraps and dangerous chemicals. Yet all this is well packaged and sold as premium quality cosmetics. I do not know if I admire her entrepreneurial spirit, but one thing but one thing is for certain, I would like to taste her. I don't like the way that you worded this. God! I want her <laughs> for my banquet. Handle her flesh with care. I am always watching you. Sincerely, Jay. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and unlock... Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and unlock the tomatoes. Just because I feel like having four tables is going to be a little bit overwhelming. Maybe just a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways. And now we have the greenhouse. Compositor. Increase the compositor speed. Increase the tomatoes growth process. Okay. Here I am. Ready to satisfy my wife's request again. Hildred needs tomatoes for some of the new recipes she has made. She has in mind. I can make some room in the attic greenhouse in the attic greenhouse for some tomato plants. There's lots of sunlight up there. I've already prepared something. But I need to finish setting it up quickly. Completely. Fuck! Let's take a look. Ooh. This place stinks of care. Aryan, but it looks good at least. Money really can buy you anything in this world. It will be the perfect place to grow tasty vegetables. I can plant tomato seeds in this topsoil container. But first, I need to put some fertil fertilizer. Oh my god. In the topsoil. I bought some fertilizer from a dealer at the ridiculous price. How can shit cost this much? I placed it in the bucket near the bro near that broken bathtub. But I'm not spending another penny on it. I'll make some myself next time. I already have a brilliant idea. I'm using a corpse. The bathtub will be my compositor. Compo Compositor? Compositor? Am I reading that right? Remember. Remember, man, that thou art dust, and to dust thou shalt return. Yeah, dust shit in this case you let's use some fertilizer hildred hates waiting uh let's put the fertilizer on tomatoes garden moving there moving take that you stupid plants and hurry up and grow i shall replenish hildred's ingredients now my work is getting stressful oh i almost forgot I have an appointment. This could be the right time to try out my idea. I'll come back later to check how things are progressing here. This is a great opportunity for you. My dear client, take comfort in that. Uh, oh, okay. I was like, did the game just break? I'll make this quick. Yeah. Your flesh will do great. Some meat will be sacrificed, but if Hildred wants ingredients, this is the com compromise we must make. 
Let's grab the corpse. Yeah, I think this is gonna get a little overwhelming now. Great, now I have to evenly distribute the bodies so that Hildred still has some Don't for the meat and then I have some for the vegetables. <sighs> it will take some time to decompose. Meanwhile, I'll grab those tomatoes. They seem to be ready to harvest. I deserve more money. <laughs> yes, you do, Percival. Yes, you do. I'll send the tomatoes to Hildred using the dumb waiter. Ah. Uh, I tried it before. It should work. Hildred will make them take them in the kitchen. Percival has sent me some supplies already. What a sweet man. Let's take them. So this one goes up, that one goes down. Perfect. Now I have some fun cooking new recipes. So you got into gardening. Okay. What are the new recipes we got? Oh, kebabs. Steak, sausage, and tomatoes. Minced meat, tomatoes. Okay. That's either lasagna or a very thick panini. Well, things are getting a little spicy now. It would be nice if I could just have like an ingredient that only required the tomatoes, like a tomato soup or something. I don't know. That would have been a pretty cool idea. That way I don't have to keep wasting all the meat. But I did just find out that the rats are a three star meal. So I could use those instead of trying to make stuff out of the meats. I, I don't know yet. I haven't figured that out. Doing as much prep as I possibly could, I think we are ready for the new day. I'm very nervous. Open the store with the displays and mannequins full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm nervous! Because now we have four things to, to take care of. We have the greenhouse, which I think, you know, I, I can manage. The tailoring shop, I've been struggling a little bit to keep the mannequins stocked. We already know. We need to give this lady a name. If she's going to be here forever, we need to give her a name. Her name is going to be Mama Odie. That's Mama Odie. What do you want? Something with mincemeat? Fuck, a steak. That's not what I was expecting. This is why I keep my mouth shut sometimes. Ah! I'm upset. So I'm going to kill you. Just because. So I think I'm going to alternate. I'm going to do... One body goes to Hildred, the other body goes to the compo- the composter? Composer? <laughs> the other body goes to the composer. Another okay. steak meal? Well, pretty soon I'm gonna run out of steaks. Damn it! Don't you dare order- Fuck! Ah! 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 Stop ordering steak! Also, Elliot! Stop prioritizing the new people! Oh! My goodness! Things are getting just a tad bit stressful. But it's okay. As fast as I can, people. I genuinely wasn't expecting anybody to order this many steaks. I really hope whatever you order next does not consist of steaks, because we are out of steak meat. People will like this as fast as I can. Oh boy. Okay, this is our first tomato meal. We need tomato, flour, and minced meat. Not necessarily in that order. Shit. The amount of stress that I am feeling right now. Stop ordering food! Stop ordering food! Oh my god. I'm actually breaking down now. <laughs> People will like this. Damn it, somebody ordered another steak. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, while that's cooking. Damn it. Why couldn't anybody have ordered anything like sausage-based meals or or in, uh, some other kind of minced meat meal? 
Come on, Hildred. Can't you slice up the body a little faster? God damn it! Moving there. Oh! That's how the gin works. Oh! Hell yeah. Okay. So I probably shouldn't abuse that power. But, okay. So that's how it works. So I can stress less. Is Elliot? Yes. Oh! No, grab the fucking tray. Hell yeah. Okay. That alleviates a lot of stress. Because I was assuming that... Okay, so Hildred literally does not need to go to the pub ever. She stays in the kitchen. Not for the reasons that you're thinking. And Elliot does literally everything in the pub. That is fantastic. Mama Odie, how you doing down here? You still chewing? You still chowing down? I'm so happy you're enjoying your food. Holographic meatloaf really does the job, doesn't it? Now that's what I call a surprise. I wonder what kind of seeds these are. I found them in a client's pocket. I think I'll plant them in the greenhouse. See what they grow into. I need to remember to fertilize them from time to time. Unfortunately, I don't know how long it will take to see what they are, but I'm curious. Okay. Okay. Woo! Woo! No bad reviews, but... A three mixed ones. Jesus. That is intense. Oh, so now we have potatoes, onions. Ooh, I can literally buy all three of these. And that's what I'm going to do. Learn all your grandma's recipes. Ooh. Now, the question is, do I want to buy a fourth table? Do I want to? Am I that crazy? Increase the pigeons hatching process. Ooh. Increase the composter. 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 The composter. Compost. Com. <laughs> I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Composter. I'm going to upgrade that. And then. Why not? Buy all tables. Now you're not just doing takeaway. You have a real restaurant. Or whatever that achievement is. Oh boy. We almost have every upgrade. <laughs> Ooh, look at all these recipes. Look at all these recipes. I'm fucked. Guys, am I cooked? <laughs> okay, I'm actually gonna end the video here. We have, oh boy. Look at how high our reputation needs to go. I'm, I'm very excited now because we have every upgrade we possibly could except for some stuff in the greenhouse. This increases all the growth speed for everything. The composter at least now has a faster process speed. Things are about to get really intense, guys. I. I'm nervous because I don't have a whole lot of bodies for the meat. How much of this game is left? <laughs> How much of this game am I playing? All right, that is all the time I have for this episode of Ravenous Devils. We have ourselves a green thumb now. We have every upgrade and I'm excited to see where the rest of this game goes because I think we may or may not have one or two more episodes left of this just depending on how the rest of this plays out because I know I know that we we might have one more person for our friend Jay to kill and then okay I'm calling it right now I'm calling the end of this game so either two things could happen we collect all these bodies for Jay he has the banquet and we enjoy the banquet with him and then he goes for my final meal I would like you guys to eat me and then they kill him and cook him or uh, Jay turns out to be crooked and after he's had his banquet he calls the police on the ravenous devils those are the two things that I feel like would happen by the end of this game anyways if you want to see my most recent video I'll have that link somewhere around here and if you want to see my last video of ravenous devils I'll also have that link somewhere around here I'm gonna get out of here I love you guys stay safe out there take it easy and big buddy out I was supposed to like I'm, you know, I out, like I'm biting off of
Okay, I'm I'm getting out of here. Bye.